I want you to imagine that you're sitting in the cockpit of my aircraft on my C-130. We are preparing to take 60 Marines, two pilots of their equipment, into Baghdad International Airport. We're gonna start this mission off at 25,000 feet. So you look around and we're all putting on our helmets, we mount our night vision goggles, we click off the autopilot, and it's time for us to start descending down into chaos. At 15 miles, we do another check. At 10 miles, another check. At five miles, it is time to be committed to this landing. At 500 feet, it's getting real. We can now start seeing the runway. I start preparing to flare, realizing that the runway is already below me. It is in that moment that I will hear the low master come on the radio and succinctly say, go around, go around, go around. I don't hesitate, I don't pause. In that moment, I immediately add full power to the aircraft. As I add full power to the aircraft, I bring the nose of the aircraft to seven degrees nose high. As I bring that nose of the aircraft up, I look over to you, my co-pilot, and I say flaps to 50%. You bring those flaps to 50%, and we start climbing away. As we start climbing away, you tell me positive rate, and as we get a positive rate, I look over at you and I say gear up. When we are fully deconfigured, safely away from whatever the danger, whatever the threat was, it is only in that moment that I will say, Loadmaster, why did we go around? So today, I'll be talking about how we have this ability within the Air Force where we can empower that 17, 18, 19 year old, fresh out of high school young person to be able to lead in the midst of the chaos of combat. It's time to go Pilot, the reason we went around was because there was a gear malfunction that you did not know about or you could not see. For you all in your organizations, who are the load masters? Who are the people that can see what you cannot see? And if you're in that leadership role and that load master says go around, do you listen? No fail trust is ensuring that you are delivering when the stakes are high. It is delivering when jobs are on the line and it is being able to deliver when failure is not an option. So the first pillar of no fail trust, it is trust the training. When is the last time you validated your training program to ensure that it's delivering what you want it to deliver? The second pillar of no fail trust is trust the process. We have checklists, we have standard operating procedures. We have manuals. We have things, the processes that are in place that supports the training that we've already validated. Once we have validated that training, then we go over here and we make sure that you understand those processes and how they correspond and correlate to the training. Because once you do that, then we can start talking about how do you empower your people to be able to execute that mission. Electrifying, absolutely electrifying. Being able to hear tools and tips on how to build on that trust with my own team, it was just inspiring. From his Air Force experience and transitioning into business, I thought it was just great. He kind of like just broke it down in a way that it was relatable. Very personable, but very thought provoking. As leaders within this industry, it is your job to ensure that not only you, but the people in your organization, that they have trusted training, that they have a trusted process, and that you've empowered them by being the leader that they expect you to be so that you and your organization can create a level of trust like your business and your life depends on it. Thank you. <laughs>